Yo, what's up, everybody? Slay Home Dad here, and today we're gonna be playing some more uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, I had some really uh, high-level sets today, um, so I'm gonna be showing them off. Uh, Prostate Wiggler, he was a um, Shao Kahn, and then he went to uh, Collector, which you know put put a pretty good set. Is uh, Shao Kahn? I had to figure out how he played and everything. And then I also got um, the Mighty Unjust on here. Um, we only played two games because I had to go eat lunch, which kind of sucks. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. And um, here's the, the gameplay. And then afterwards, uh, the gameplay breakdown on what I was thinking and what I saw and uh, how I adapted. So again, hopefully you guys enjoy. Cyber Lin Kuei Assembly. Oh, my God. 
Johnny Cage. New Cybot fight.
Cage, Noob Cybot. Round one, fight! <laughs> All right, guys. So this is a uh, prostate wiggler. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it. Yada yada. I told you to use the Shao Kahn. I'm using Sub Zero. That's what. That's the. Uh, that's a matchup I like. And again, you're gonna see me play um, this distance game. I like to be honest. I am a very um, strong defensive player. I'm very counter heavy, but when I see the opportunity to go in, I go in. But for the most part, you're going to see me play at, at a certain spacing, um, playing smart, trying to react to my uh, opponents and everything, just so I can react to stuff and punish certain things from certain distances. Um, that's that's my play style. Uh, both of these characters, Sub-Zero and Noob Saibot, both fit uh, my play style, I believe. And um, yeah, so here we go. Let's continue on to uh, the breakdown. I did a forward four here, get plus frames. He opted to jump over which kind of sucks because the 4-2 is a 19 frame start and the 4-2 has a crappy hitbox i mean come on look look at this look look at this hitbox come on man like bam. right in the wevels bro right in the bells and, and, and it doesn't count which which i'm fine with you know i'm not going to complain about it it's just something you know i hope they fix in the future because that 4-2 should hit up there, but it doesn't. Alright, so I got hit. Bam, bam. Flip out. I don't want to take that damage. Now, I'm just trying to see how he plays. See, again, he tried to jump out. I forward 2. I want to enforce my forward 4, but at the same time, I want to see what he likes to do. You got a good combo there. Always, okay, so right here. Always right here. When a Shao Kahn does that, 90% of them will down one or jump. Down one or jump. That is the Shao Kahn way. Okay? It's negative two. You could challenge it right there. That's why I challenge it. I challenge it every freaking time. But you got to be careful too because they can also uh, believe they can do a flawless block on that. That's like a flawless block setup. So you got to be careful with that. There you go, hit him. I see that he's just constantly jumping. I'm just like, what the hell? 
They just constant, constant jump. So right now, you know, he's playing like a bunny. I'm at the get him on the ground. I don't want to go for grabs or anything. Because he's constantly jumping. <laughs> Open him up there. I think I go for the reset into the low. Yep. Overhead. Yeah, he jumped again and jumped over that. Bro, this guy loved to jump. Ah, uh, okay. So that move right there, if a shotgun does that, it is punishable. I missed my punish, my back three. Um, I just got a standing two out of it. It kind of sucked. But it, it is not that hard to punish. It's just that there's a, a little bit of block stun. So you have to like let it go on for a little bit because he's he's in a shit ton of recovery. He's in a crazy amount of recovery. So you could punish that with uh, Sub Zero's uh, back three. Um, you could punish it with every character. So you just gotta uh, lab it and you know figure out what your character likes to do. But there you go. I you see the standing two, but I got the back two right here, and then uh, the round. Alright, so he's in the corner, so my thing about when I put people in the corner is that I like to keep space. So when they jump, when they make moves and stuff like that, especially when somebody has a good forward advancing move, I like to keep space, make them whiff, and then react to the whiff, and then back one. Like that, right there. That's exactly what I was talking about. Like, that whiff, I seen that, instant back one. Went for the low again. This time I staggered it because last time he saw that I did uh, back three, back three two. This time I staggered it into the overhead just to see if he was ready for it or not. It's it's a risky thing that I'm doing, especially since I'm committing to the ex ice. I saw that he wasn't gonna flip out, so it's the second uh, round of the game, and I'm trying to get this game over with. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that crushing blow. You, you got to keep that in mind. Like like I said, uh, the last time is um, I like to set up the crushing blow. But this time, I'm just like, I have so much of a lead. A lead. I got I to make I gotta make him do something. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this crushing blow and force his hand. See, now he tried to jump again. He woke up. Now he has to make all the moves. I don't really have to do a lot. He has to do everything now. Everything is on him. There you go, the EX Ice Ball. Go for the reset. I probably should have went for the shoulder, but, you know, he, he tried to go for the, the Fatal Blow. The um This right here, though, that is punishable uh, with my back one. It's just, again, the block stun. I missed the timing of the block stun, and all I got was standing four, or standing one, my bad. Then I tried to do back one right there. And again, he goes back to jumping like a bunny rabbit. Shoulder charge. Plus frames. Yeah, see, he's, try he's trying to um, condition me for things. So he can do things for free. I'm just being safe as possible right now. He's using plus frames. That's negative. I couldn't punish it, so I went for the grab. And there you go. I got that round right there. Now again, he went up. That right there, you always want to trade an uppercut. Always. Don't matter. If you don't react fast enough right away, you got to take the uppercut trade because look at the damage that you both do. He chipped me there. Bam, uppercut. His life and my life. He took more damage than I did. And that is like as soon as you do that to a Shao Kahn and they realize you know that, they pretty much stop doing that. They're just like... Fuck, I can't do that. The only time a Shao Kahn will consistently do that is if they have major life lead, like have you in a corner and just constantly bam, bam, pressure, throw the up hammer, bam, bam, pressure, throw the up hammer, and just constantly trade with you because they can, especially if you're low on life. So that's just one thing you got to look out for. Again, another whip punish. See, again, I'm just I'm just keeping the spacing. He has good forward advancing move. He completely whiff. And then, bam, back one, four. I think I go for a grab. Yeah. Forward, forward. Now, now I'm initiating my plus frames here. 
but I think he still beats me out of the air. Yeah, with the because last time he jumped. So last time he jumped, you'll see you'll see my adaption to that. Okay, so I saw every time I plus four, he's gonna jump, right? So you'll see later on that I do a a back two, I believe, uh, predicting him to jump. I try to back one right there, reacting to the uh, what's called. I have life lead, so I'm I'm just kind of taking my time. I try to uppercut right here. He uppercut. So he did a, a up two, right? And then after the up two, I went forward two, and he tried to uppercut again. If I did a four two four, if I saw that animation earlier, there's a crushing blow. I just wanted to take it, get the game, get the round over with, force his hand. See right now, look, it's like how many seconds? Let's let's see how many seconds after the crushing blow. Crushing blow, he rolls out. All right, so 55 seconds. I have 55 seconds of you know being patient pretty much you don't want to be too patient at times you know there, there are times where you do need to throw buttons out there but there's really nothing i need to do i, I gotta let him make the mistake and i just gotta react to everything that's, that's all it is plus frames see i tried it down three plus frames i tried it down four no i didn't right there i tried down four and then finally he jumps in. I get the re I don't get the read. I get the reaction on the jump in, and then I down two. Down four right off a of rip. Going for the low because he likes to jump. There's a jump again. Yep, he wakes up. I thought right here. I thought I was in uh, the correct space. I baited that so hard, and I thought this was going to hit. I thought the back one four was going to hit. That's why I committed to the ice ball. Usually, I never commit to the ice ball because you can easily react to back one four hitting. I really thought I was going to hit there. I tried it down four, his four four. So, right here, Shao Kahn, he doesn't have much you know that he can hit with in this uh situation like from this distance right here if he does uh i think it's back two or four two four two i think it is i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure it's, it's one of the strings it's, it's the one he does the backhand with the big ass hammer so if he does that it's like a 20 something frame start yeah i'm like negative something but my back one is still going to beat it out so I knew that, so I took advantage of that. Went for the grab. Again, I'm keeping space. Run up down four. That right there is punishable as well with uh, back one. But again, my block's done. I, I wasn't... I didn't take into consideration. I mean, I know that there's block stun, but I just didn't wait long enough. And then I think I get a standing four. Yeah, I tried to back one, uh, back one four, and I just a little too early on the back one and got a standing four. He got me there. Pushing buttons. I tried to up three thinking he's going to run in. Okay, so now this priest right here, you got to be careful. If he does like down four, down one into, I can't remember what the move is called, but it's, it's the overhead move that basically smashes you. He gets a crushing blow from it. Annihilator, I, th I think it's like Annihilation. I think that's the um, name of the move. So yeah, you, you just gotta be careful. That's that's what the um, the priest does for him. It amplifies the um, the hammer. Right here again, same situation. I'm at a certain space. He whiffs the four two or back two, whatever the hell it is, and then I get a free back one. Oh, that's connection. See, like right there, I saw him jump, so I just went ahead back to hit me, bam. Didn't get the conversion, luckily. There you go. He's doing uh, the up hammer. Went for the overhead because he likes to jump, uppercut, make him fall out. Then he tries to jump again, and back three two will definitely kill it. All right, so now he picks uh, Collector. Hold up, series going nuts over here. So now he picks Collector, and um, 
You'll see I play it similar to Shao Kahn. I try to jump in thinking, but there, there are times where I do get in. Like right here, going for the reset. Bam, bam. Low reset again. Just trying to condition him with the low so I could get the overhead. Playing more patient right now. There's a space. I thought he was going to teleport right there because that's what he tried to do. You can actually duck that. That move right there, you can duck that. It's a high. And then that's this one I'm pretty much waiting for is for that kick because a lot of collectors love to use that kick. And once you force them to use that kick, it's, you know, pretty fun. Luckily, I didn't get punished because this, this is punishable. He tallied. I was patient enough. I didn't know if he was going to be close or far when he tallied, so I waited. Bam. And then the command grab. I wanted to see what he knew, what he liked to do. So right here, this move here, collectors will abuse it. That right there, collectors will abuse it if you let them. That is a high overhead, okay? Then they can meter burn it, all right, which will be a low. So it could be a high overhead low. If they don't meter burn it, like what I do here, I do a quick dash in down four. Okay? Because I think he was going to do it again. Like, let's let's see the animation. Yeah, see, he was going to do the animation again. Look, I'll, I'll show you. He grabs. Look at the animation. Okay, see his hand go back? Forward. Around. That's an overhead. Okay? I run up. Down four. And I really think he was going to do it again. Because they will abuse the hell out of it. Because it's, it's a good tool. It's, it's one of their best tools in this game. A lot of people don't know how to handle it. Telly, I yeah, I caught it that time. Again, right there. That's, that's, the, that's the low right there. That's on Hickafirm. You can definitely Hickafirm that. As collector. He likes to jump. I try to go in right there. He woke up with the up three. Again. You cannot let them abuse that. And that's that's the thing that he's realizing. Is that I'm not letting him abuse it. Me to burn. Duck it. Oh I did it just a tad bit. I had a good read. I had a good read that he was going to do that kick. But I just did it a tad bit too early. See again, that's that's the uh, overhead low. I had to block the low. And then I backed off. I got hit by the kick. Good command grab. So I'm seeing that, you know, in certain situations he likes to command grab, but I, I don't think I get get him to that point anymore. Again, every time I forward four, he jumped. Down, yep, down one, and that's the round. And that's basically how I beat this collector, and then he left after that. And then the next fight, right after that, was Mighty Unjust. His record is ridiculous. That's, that is a ridiculous record. And he's a good player, man. I mean, he's, he's the Elder God, of course. Uh, there's a reason why he's at the Elder God rank. All right, so he picks Johnny. He's picking the second variation. Uh, Shock Jock, I believe. No, Showstopper. Okay. So against Johnny, I like the zone. I use Noob Cybot. I like the zone. I do not like using Sub-Zero against Johnny. Because one. The ice ball. I, d I just don't trust it. Um, I could use um, thin ice. And do slides and avalanche and stuff like that. But if he can react to the avalanche. You know where you make the ball. He can throw a projectile and punish you. Like, it's really not that hard to react to uh, the Avalanche Ball when, when they just make it out in the open. That really should be uh, as a setup. But I like to zone out Johnny Cage with uh, Noob Saibop. And not only that, if Johnny does projectiles with me, trades, oh, sorry, Noob Saibop wins that battle. So right there, see how much more health got taken off from him than me? He got one whole tick, pretty much. Again, another, see? Like right now, his he's at a life deficit. So. Now, new Saibot, 
Again, I'll play defense and then I'll go in. Like I love using that down three. That down three is so good, especially when people uh, move in. And then I use a four two for the most part. I reacted to that down two. That that down two was a good reaction. That's plus frames. You don't want to challenge that. That's not plus. So then you know, I wanted to see if he was thinking I was gonna grab. So I just did a normal back one. Just see what he likes to do. And then I crossed over, throwing him off. And then, you know, whip punish him on his wake up. And then basically got the round. Again, you're just going to see me zone, play, walk back, play a slow defensive game. See right here. So, so what my idea is, is that oh, right here. All right, so what my idea is, is that he blocks, he walks forward, because, you know, a lot, a lot of people like to walk forward. So, see, he's, he's walking forward slowly. I do a projectile, and even on whiff, I tr see, look, that was such a close hit, because I'm ready for him to move forward. See, if he was just forward a little bit more, I would have hiccup from that. And he would have gotten hit. And that's that's what I like to do against uh, Johnny players for the most part. Right there, that's a punish. You can't, you have to meet a burn it. He needs to. Because that is a guaranteed punish. Now me and uh, Unjust are playing footsies, high level footsies right now. He's going in pressure hard. And I'm seeing that he likes to throw a lot of highs. Like, I'm constantly seeing it. I'm just trying to figure out what he likes to do. That was smart of him. He's doing a lot of down threes to open me up. There's the footsies right there. Just completely outspace me. And I'm, again, I'm paying attention to all this. I'm not getting frustrated. I'm just getting, you know, paying attention. I'm like, okay, okay, you got me. You got me this round. Right there, I'm trying to make a comeback. This this is where I'm trying to make a comeback. I didn't want to take a chance of doing the, um... God, wherever the hell... I'm really surprised that missed. I really am. If I knew that was going to miss, I would have been ready for the uh, back one, one, three into a uh, fatal blow, and I would have killed him. All right, you try to jump in. See, that down three for Noob Saiba is such a big key in this in this matchup. That's one of his best tools. Man, I tried to, uh, I think I tried a four, two. You got to break out of that. Okay, see, that's that's what I'm talking about right here. A lot of the the second round, I flipped out. He went into pressure with the high because he's trying to go plush frames. Bam. So I'm like, you know what? If you want to do that, I'm just going to freaking down three your ass, make you respect my options. So there you go. Down three, he whiffs the high, get the grab. Okay, so what I did here is because I don't know if you guys paid attention to the whole thing. Every time I moved forward, I would down three. And he would block. Let me let, let me see. See right there. See I would I would move forward down three. Every time I move forward, I would grab or down three. And that's that's what he's expecting. So I have him conditioned on that. See? Bam, he got me. Okay, let's let's move this forward again. The high, bam, the grab. Okay, so then in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna try something out. I'm just gonna walk up to him and then back one one three. And if I hit him, I can hit confirm. If I don't, then I'm probably gonna get punished. So this right here is a big freaking risk. And I took it. And it worked out. Now I'm gonna go for the grab. Cause I'm trying, I'm trying to get him to open up. I think he jumps. Yeah. So he tried it down too right there, thinking I was gonna jump in. As you see, I don't really jump in a lot. I play my footsies. I play the ground game. You, you have to play the ground game. I jumped in at the right time. I didn't think that was gonna hit. And then again, another grab. That down three is so big. Then he decides to go with the third variation Johnny. Which the third variation Johnny, it's more of a, a zoning tool. So, it's a real good uh, variation. 
But again, you don't want to trade with Noobs. I try to teleport on reaction. Right here, I made a hard read. Because he, he zoned out a lot, you know, he, he conditioned me to try and make a hard read, which I did and got uppercutted for it. I bounced out. See, I down three on wake up because <laughs> I don't want him to use the plush frames. I try to walk up again, just see what he would do. It's taking my time. And again, you don't want to trade with New Sabbath. That's plus. I got outplayed. I tried a 4 2 and I got standing 2. I was a little upset about that. That's reaction right there. I back 3 to try and make him uh, hit a button here. Like do a delay button. But, you know. He just put it back. Like, he sees that he has a life lead, right? He has a life lead. He doesn't have to do anything. Just like I see, you know, at times. I don't have to do anything. I just let my opponent make the mistake. So, he played it smart. Uh, puts it back to neutral. And we just play footsies again. And now, he's doing the best thing he can do right now. Is to try and make me react to him. Which... I mean, that's the, that's the best option for him because I know that his zoning, if we trade zoning right now, he would win. If I do a fatal blow, I'm still going to take damage, but it's not going to kill him. So he knows those options. He tried to get the double hit right there. And then right here, I'm basically conceding the round. I'm just like, well, I can't do fatal blow. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to trade and basically all my op like I had to get in close duck and then hopefully get a hit which I couldn't so that was the mindset on, on that first round so right now I mean he's doing a hell of a job with uh, variation three trade trade trades my favorite he tried dash forward again see I like I tried a forward two right there with punish. See again. See. See right here. I wanted to test him. I needed to test him. To see if he was going to think I was going to grab. Because I'm in his face. So I'm doing a move that's safe. And then down three. Because he's trying to do something. Smart move. He woke up with a punch. I made a hard read right there. That was such a hard read. Even though, even though this right here is plus, I took a chance. I was willing to take a chance. Down three because he's going for the high. And then that's where I get to grab. Skate failed. I see that it's loaded up. Now I am playing the slow game, see? I'm just letting him make the mistake, just like he did with me. I mean, this whole this whole game is all footsies. Just outplaying your opponent, understanding what your opponent likes to do. That's a bad trade for me because he's actually able to block it. I got lucky. See, he let go of block that time. He was thinking I was going to uh, grab. Got the hit. Now I have the life lead. Got the hit again. Now I'm just playing this zoning game right here i so remember i had the um the throw set up as soon as i got the throw i went for the crushing blow and pretty much that's it i don't have to do anything he has to do everything from here on out bam and that's basically how i beat uh the mighty unjust and yeah uh those are the high level sets and this is the breakdown of the the two matches that i had um I'm going to go ahead and head out, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel because it helps me out a lot. If you didn't, thank you for the view. I appreciate it. But this is me. This is who I am. This is who you're going to get. I'm not going to change. But other than that, guys, keep slaying.